to patent analytics and you know uh, Dr. Tulsi um, what you know you've seen the, this patent analytics kind of growing um, you know for, for a long time uh, it maybe started as kind of a you know entry into IP profession rather than really going to the law school and in all of that now how do you think things have changed uh, say over the last 10 years or so and can you also throw some lights on um, light on um, the landscape analysis that uh, you know, and the practice that you have in Shell from a Shell's perspective, uh, what do you do and you know how it helps uh, Shell? How do you integrate within the business, etc.? I know there's a lot of questions, but you can. <laughs> yeah, take let one me by see one. for how much of uh, your questions I can answer. To the first question about patent analysis in India, I think I would like to put it as a more of a personal story, and the fact that you mentioned 10 years is exactly fits with my my own. 10 years of experience in IP. I have a research background and I worked as a research engineer and then then at some time after a few, few years you realize what are you doing. Then you said you have, you want, as a researcher you are always searching for new things, right? So then you realize what are the things that you could do around, can I switch area, go to a new area or do I try something new? And this appealed to me, the patent analysis, because I looked at what does it require. You have to read, you have to be quick to learn new things, and then it seems to be a, something that not many people have ventured into. So these are the three things that got me, my attention to get into patent analysis, just out of curiosity to see what is out there. And I get paid for doing Google in office hours. <laughs> So this is, this is how I started and to me the whole patent analysis is like, to put a very common analogy, is onion peeling. So when you first look at it, it looks like, oh, there's only one layer that I need to peel. And that one layer is probably because if you're coming from a research background, you think, oh, this is just like reading a publication, right? So that's where you started, at least that's where I started. Then you realize, okay, why are we doing this? This is, has to have we are part of, let's say, an IP department. So the attorney has a question. Then, okay, you need to know a little bit about the law, the patent law in particular. And then, then you say, okay, now I understand why this patent is a source of information with a technical content. So now I understand two aspects of it. Then you're not, I'm not working for a, let's say, university where we do research, or I'm not working for a law firm or a, law school. So we are part of a business. So why are we doing this? Why am I doing work that I am doing? It has to have a business edge to it. So then it has to answer a business question. So then that's the third dimension to it. But two, so in, in chart, it's truly a very interdisciplinary uh, profession where with days go by, you are learning one skill after the other. And then you wonder where we stand at any given point of time. So coming back to patent landscaping, that's where uh, we look at patent landscaping as an interdisciplinary profession. And this is a way of getting insights into very complex patent information. I don't have to tell this crowd how difficult it is to read a patent for somebody who is used to reading papers, right? And then in the past, in, the, in this profession, at least not when I started, but if I go back 10 more years or 15 more years, people are used to going and taking a physical copy of the patent, looking at just one. With that, you get one insight. But when you look at a collection of patents, which is possible through the IT developments and also the, this thing, now you are able to analyze this collection of patents. And this collection could belong to your company, this collection could belong to your technology area, or this collection could belong to your country. So depending on the question, you do a patent landscaping. So what I really want to say is patent landscaping, at least the way we see, is not a visualization. Yes, visualization is critical, but the analytical skills are equally important. And these skills is what helps you to answer a business question and using all the skills, not just the legal, the technical, but also the IT skills that you have acquired. So this is how I see the patent landscaping as a way to answer a question that is thrown at you. You use uh, outside councils for uh, patent landscaping work or uh, you try to do it in-house? In and if, if you use, uh, if you, do you have any advice for uh, the outside councils? 
yeah in the past i think uh, before our group was set up uh, this was uh, outsourced to a lot of companies uh, and uh, most of them are based in india and one thing is uh, everybody looked at patent landscaping as a visualization so one of the things that we experienced uh, was the quality of search wasn't really the great because as i said we are a part of a global patent analysis team and rest of our team does support the legal are the patent attorneys who are very uh, important for them is accuracy like mangala was saying we don't want anything that is not 100% accurate so when we have team of patent analysts who are used to 100% accuracy the search is done by outside councils or the outside firms didn't meet the criteria so the way they are saying is garbage in garbage out so if you have very nice visualization but what is coming into those so that's where i think we try to improve and uh, try to make a